Mexico plans a new affordable EV brand. The EV is going to call be called the Olinia, which comes from a word Olini, meaning movement. You've already got this beautiful little four-passenger car that everybody in, are in Mexico is familiar with. It's rugged. Boy, take that platform and uh, maybe license from Volkswagen or you know do do what the Chinese do and steal the design. <laughs> Hi, I'm David with EV World News. I'm here today with our founder and chief editor, Bill Moore. How's it going today, Bill? Uh, it's going well, thank you for asking. So this isn't something we come up with much, but Mexico plans a new affordable EV brand. The president of Mexico, Claudia Scheinbaum, announced plans to produce an EV that will be fully manufactured and assembled in Mexico. Uh, the initiative is part of her broader vision to modernize Mexico's industrial landscape by focusing on advanced technologies, including semiconductors, drones, and clean energy solutions. The EV is going to call, be called the Olinia, which comes from a word Olini, meaning movement. So Olinia is supposed to be a word for movement. The aim is to create a more affordable EV alternative to help make EVs accessible to a larger portion of the Mexican population. This would contrast with the higher priced EVs currently on the market, such as the Chevy Equinox, which is priced at about $43,000. Scheinbaum's administration envisioned this project as part of a larger effort to position Mexico as a key player in future mobility. Now, what's interesting, they've got a lot of automakers in, in Mexico. You've got Audi, BMW, Ford, GM, Honda, Hyundai, Jack by Giant Motors, Kia, Mazda, Mercedes-Benz, Nissan, Stellantis, Toyota, and Volkswagen. All those companies make cars in, in Mexico. Mexico. Now, yeah, now, a lot of, you know, in the 90s, when NAFTA got passed, a lot of U.S. manufacturing got moved to Mexico. The, the giant sucking sound, the giant sucking sound, uh, as Ross Perot liked to call it. You know, it's still, to this day, I still hate that Ross Perot didn't get uh, elected. I think he would he would have uh, changed a lot of how we look at manufacturing. Yeah. So I drive one of those cars. That's what my Fiat was uh, engineered by. Uh, let's see, uh, I think it was BMW or something like that, and it was built in uh, in Mexico with, and I forget whose batteries are in it. But anyway, it's a it's a you know an international effort, so to speak. Uh, so they have there's plenty of installed base down there. There's no problem. Uh, I I would be interested. I, you don't see them doing a lot of design work there. I haven't seen any. I will say this that when I was invited down to Mexico City for a uh, one of the first uh, electric vehicle, uh, I guess you would call it symposiums held in Mexico City. Um, one of the very first vehicles I drove in was a VW bug, right? Because the very last country in the world to manufacture the original bug was Mexico. In fact, if you went to Mexico, VW bugs were, were everywhere. That's what people drove. And so here was a university uh, professor who was driving me around, his students, and we went down to the uh, you know Mexico University and what we're driving around in was this, a car, a BW, BW Beetle that had been converted to electric by his students. Oh, nice! And so, so what? I mean, I've all you know the, the the there was the new Beetle, which of course Volkswagen doesn't make anymore either. But I, why not take that platform right and just do what those kids did, electrify it? You got because you got new battery technology. Uh, no more more efficient motor technology. You've already got this beautiful little four, you know, four passenger car that everybody in Mexico City or in Mexico is familiar with. It's rugged, you know. Uh, boy, take that platform and uh, maybe license from Volkswagen or you know do do what the Chinese do and steal the design. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, and build that. Now, of course, what happens? In terms of NAFTA, or we don't call it that anymore. Don't we have a new acronym for it, something? I, I'm not aware of one. Well, I think there was, what, the the American-Mexican-Canadian agreement, 
whatever it is. What happens to that when you've got a, you know, a car that is all of it sourced from Mexico City or from Mexico? Can it be brought in and sold in the United States? Question that's going to have to be resolved someday. Yeah. Well, um, the Olinia car is set to become an affordable EV aimed at Mexican families and young consumers. The target price is under 500,000 pesos, which would be about 25,000 U.S., making it more accessible than other EV models currently available, such as the SEV E-WAN Cross and the BYD Dolphin Mini. All of which can't be driven here in the United States, can't be bought. Right. So a company called Zacua, which is founded in 2017 in Mexico City, was the first company to produce and sell a Mexican electric car. It collaborated with a French automaker, Automobiles Chatenay. Yeah, not familiar with it. Using the Chatenay CH30 microcar as a base to develop Zacua's MX3 and MX2 models with completely new electric drivetrains coming from a Spanish company called Dynamic Technological Alliance. It sourced its batteries from Ch a Chinese partner, began production in 2019. But they don't use all Mexican parts, so they're coming from other countries. Uh, but they made a small, affordable electric cars. The micro, they're micro cars, only available in Mexico, compete with models like the Renault Twizy. Yeah, so it's it's a, basically it's a neighborhood electric vehicle. Yeah, more or less. Um, it, it looks a little more stylish, though, than the the smart car for two. I mean, a little bit. I mean, it might be tiny, though, but still. I wonder, does Mexico have a, the same quadricycle rules that they have in Europe? Because over there, they have a rule, I think, uh, 14 years old, you can drive one of these. Oh, wow. Yeah, no idea. But uh, it's a good-looking little car. Yeah, I, I'm just saying, you know, you're looking for cheap transportation, which seems to be the name of the game there. I'm really surprised you don't have a company like Vietnamese company. VinFast, you know, looking at manufacturing there, especially we're waiting for that VF3 to come to the U.S. I, I think uh, that's another one that would probably, you know, be good for um, Mexico. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.